John, John! For the best advice about moving to Mexico, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode every Thursday. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alex, and I moved to Mexico from the U.S. in 2017. I've called Querétaro home ever since. In today's vlog, I'm going to be giving you a mini tour of one of my favorite neighborhoods in Querétaro. It has such a cool vibe, and I could seriously see myself living there someday. Plus, I'm going to be showing you around my new co-working space and chatting with Luis and Taylor about our favorite places to get out of the house and get some work done in Querétaro. find me hanging out in Querétaro Centro, but today I am in a different neighborhood, one of my favorite neighborhoods in Querétaro. It is called Alamos, and wow, I absolutely love this area of the city. As you can tell from behind me, there is a walkway down the center of the neighborhood, and it reminds me so much of the Condesa neighborhood in Mexico City. John is snoozing. He's being such a good boy right now. Luis and I just finished eating lunch. It was so, well, Luis copied me. <laughs> what did we get? We got a really delicious salad with salmon on top. Yes, I ordered first and then Luis started to order something else. I was like, you know what, wait, that actually sounds good. We're at Mosher Cafe and I absolutely love this place. We came the first time, I think about a month ago and we came on a Friday night for live music and this place just has such a cool vibe. It's super like eclectic, it's super nice. There's lots of outdoor space, indoor space and it's, yeah, it's a really great place. I also love that there's so many like little boutiques and shops around it. There's an eyeglass store, a couple clothing boutiques, an interior design shop. It's just got a really nice feel to it. into Andador 58 for a couple of iced coffees, a little snack, and this is just one of the many cool cafes, many cool restaurants lining the main drag here in Alamos. If you are familiar with Querétaro, it is very, very close to Mercado La Cruz, the main market in the city center. And when you cross the river, when you cross Universidad in Querétaro, you will get to this neighborhood, get over to Alamos. I love it because it's kind of the best of both worlds. You get this very planned little neighborhood with a very Condesa feel, a little hipstery, really trendy, but you're also super close to the city center where you can get kind of that traditional Mexico feel with the colonial buildings, the colonial architecture, and the market as well. So I got an iced coffee and this delicious vegan donut. Um, the lady downstairs told me that it's made with garbanzo flour and it's totally vegan, which is awesome. Um, this is one thing I really like about Mexico. I think Mexico in general, it's really easy to eat vegan or vegetarian and even more so in Querétaro. There's so many vegan and vegetarian options. This neighborhood, Alamos, is great. There's so many cafes, um, and almost all of them will have like soy milk or vegan food options, so it's really easy to stick to that if, if you're looking for those options. Sorry, John. John is getting tired. We just did a long walk over from Alamos, but I'm really excited to check this place out now that Querétaro 
is a little bit safer in terms of the pandemic. Things are opening up more here and definitely excited to check out this co-working space, which is dog friendly. Everyone got the memo that we wore black matching tank tops to our first day at the co-working space. This is Laura's first day in Mexico. She is doing the digital nomad thing right off the bat and we're all here at the co-working space and I just thought I'd talk a little bit about prices. Laura, how much did you pay for a day pass here? Uh, 200 Mexican pesos. Luis and I did a promo, a sign up with a friend, and we paid 2,800 pesos, which is, how much did we say that is in dollars? 140 US. That is between two people for two months. So it comes out to around $35 per month for each of us. Not bad. There are a lot of cool little bonuses with our membership to the co-working space and one of them is that we get these bikes free to use. So we just ask at the desk to check one out and we can use it for the day if we want to ride bikes to somewhere in the city center for lunch. I'm sure that we will eat at the cafe over at Crow in the future, but today we decided to come over and have lunch at Tosca, which is on Andador Libertad in the centro. And I got the salmon salad for lunch. I guess I'm kind of between Mosher and today I'm sort of on a salmon salad kick right now. But I wanted to ask Luis about some of her other favorite places to work in Queretaro to get out of the house and get some stuff done. I know you really love this place, yes? I love this place. They have amazing service, they have really good food, and they have a beautiful patio outside in the front. What are some of your other favorite places to work in Queretaro? I know you're talking about a little <laughs> coffee bar with an incredible espresso. Yeah, I love this place called Copin, spelled with a K. Um, it's a little bit more in the centro of Queretaro. And it's just like a little coffee bar. They have the best espresso I've had here. Uh, they have really good service. It's great for co-working. They're really friendly to like digital nomads. They say, hey, stay as long as you want. And they also have really, really good food. There are lots of spaces if you are a digital nomad, if you're a freelancer, self-employed person, and you like to get out of the house to work, you definitely don't have to be trapped in your Airbnb, in your hotel, in your apartment, whatever, when you come to Queretaro. There are lots of good places to work. Sort of fat. Yeah, in the center especially, there are all kinds of places to work. Uh, I, one that I like, um, and it's because it opens before most of the co-working spaces, is Starbucks. There's a Starbucks by Los Arcos, and it's a really great place to work. Pretty much the entire second floor, at least, is set up for people working remotely. You know, each seat has uh, outlets, and the Wi-Fi is really, really good. So that's one place I'd recommend. I've also been to a couple other co-working spaces. Uh, one is called Co-House and one is called Jobs. The Jobs one especially is very, very cool. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to have options uh, when you're not feeling inspired at home and you want to get out. If you are curious about my experience working online, working remotely in Mexico, I have a whole video all about that. I will leave a card for that here, plus a link to that video in the description below. If you are from Queretaro, have spent time in Queretaro, and have your own suggestions for cafes and co-working spaces, I would love to hear them. Be sure to leave a comment. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up because that really helps to support my channel. I'm Alex from BackpackingBrunette.com. Thanks for watching.